Hello everyone, thank you for checking out my post and also clicking on the YouTube video to find out what you're getting for this package, selling the HP Beats Audio laptop. So first thing, this is the iGo Green charger that I upgraded from the original charger. Um, it has an um, ECU option so when the laptop's fully charged and it's in the off position this charger will automatically turn itself off so it doesn't waste your electricity so that's going to be what you're getting also you're getting the windows mouse this is also a new mark mixed track turntable controller this is usb works with Serato and Virtual DJ. You'll be getting this as well. And this is a laptop that is currently sticker bombed. Uh, I can remove the stickers, but the stickers actually protect the casing. So you can see that the stickers have been taken the abuse instead of the actual casing itself. HP glowing logo is right here. So I'll give you a quick walk through on the laptop. So we'll start with this side. You have two, you have your power light and your hard drive CPU light, two USB ports. This one does come with a CD-ROM drive. This It also has the ability to burn CDs and DVDs. You have your power in port security lock if you want to tether it to something you have your sd card slot uh, it also takes micro sds but you also need the adapter for it you have your graphics card fan your vgi or vga hdmi this is your Ethernet port, which is protected. Never used it. I'm always on Wi-Fi. This is a, another two USB slots on the left side. This is for the mouse. You have your microphone and your headphones. Also, just in case if you want to see some specs on the back of it. It is powered by Windows 8. You do have the option to upgrade to Windows 10. Has in a Beats subwoofer built into it. Laptop works fine on the battery. So here's some information for you guys if you want to look up this laptop. Along with the battery also. Here you can see Beats Audio. Here's your webcam. Model number. HP. I already started taking off some of the stickers already that were here. Obviously it'll get cleaned for the next person who buys it. It's got an Intel Core i5 this is a fingerprint reader so you can log on via fingerprint sorry i'm in the shot too but whatever This laptop has never given me any issues. The why I re the reason why I reset it to 
factory settings is because I had a lot of personal software and a lot of personal data on the laptop that I did not want to get into the hands of the wrong person. So the computer was set back to um, unboxing condition. So this laptop, as of yesterday, was pretty much in just open it out of the box. And uh, since then, today, I reinstalled iTunes and I uploaded the 26,000 songs for the next person who's going to get ownership of this laptop. So obviously the password right now by default is one through nine, but this is your fingerprint option. It would help if I was had my finger on it correctly. There we go. Very cool feature. It's the only laptop I've ever owned that actually had this feature. Um, I wish it would have it on all my HP laptops. So that's another one of my older backup laptops. It's smaller, which I like. This one is definitely huge. I'll show you the comparisons. Oh, this is a normal size laptop. So the screen's a lot bigger. But that's the new the new laptop right here. This is an Omen gaming, high performance gaming laptop. This is what I will be using to DJ now because it does have a very high end graphics card. This does have a graphics card in it, but it's not the level that I wanted for performance. I wanted something that was ridiculously high. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, here we are at our desktop. All right, give me one second to slide the computer over so I can use the mouse. Here's iTunes as promised. And iTunes does have all my professional playlists still saved in it for all the parties I've done in the past. I'm not sure if I double clicked on it or not, but while well, I'm waiting for that, I just took the battery off the charger. Running at high performance, it has a two hour and 56 minute battery life. Um, obviously you can change that in the settings. You can make it um, low performance when running on a battery, but I keep it on high performance when running on battery uh, for if I'm doing an event and somehow the cable comes unplugged. Um, it doesn't mess up any of my software that I'm running. So, me personally, I like to have it on high performance. Well, here's iTunes. These are all the playlists that I've created. You can keep them, you can delete them, you can do whatever you please with them. Um, it's got all my musical bingo stuff, because I do own a musical bingo company. So it does have all the musical bingo playlists. Um, great for parties, because you got 50 of the greatest classic rock, one, classic rock songs. There's two folders of best classic rock songs two folders of the best country music um disney this is the one i'm actually current on currently working on on my other laptop but because i transferred the files over you can see some of it in its work the newest one added was show tunes this one was just created last week so you got all the great classic show tunes you can use that while djing um 60s 70s 80s 90s great stuff um i have weddings that i've done down in the past that i have saved on here uh, college parties united technology companies parties school dances it's got a lot a lot of great stuff jack and jills um i do have a folder of dance music which comes in really handy so these are all the dance songs that people can dance along with 
like YMCA, Cotton Eye Joe, Selectric Slide, all that great stuff. So, oh, I'm sorry, I um wanted to show you. It does come with Thornton Virus. Uh, it's the free trial. I recommend getting rid of it. Um, what I did want to show you is the proof of how many songs are here. Twenty six thousand and sixteen items selected. That's how many songs are on here. Five thousand seven hundred and forty six artists or artists selected. So that's iTunes. Norton's running its scan. And here is going to be, oops, what am I clicking on? And here we go. Windows 8, 2012, Microsoft Corporation. Rating. I don't know why it's not available. It has an Intel Core i5. 3,210M CPU, 2.5 gigahertz. Memory is 8 gigabytes of memory, running a 64-bit operating system. Product is registered. Uh, if you have any questions, just feel free to text or email me. Uh, emailing, I'll get back to you and occasionally. Uh, texting is definitely the easiest way to get a hold of me. If you have any questions, I will try to answer them as best as possible while at work. You might have to wait until I get home to be in front of the laptop to answer any specific questions. But thank you for watching the video, and uh, hopefully we find a new buyer and a new home for this laptop. Thank you, and have a great day.